Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury and welcome to the Paul Pluter channel. That's right, guys. This is the Paul Pluter channel and we are here. We are here to do some paid watch reviews. That's right, guys. We're here to do some paid watch reviews. And um, so, guys, this here, I'm doing a, a paid review. This here is for Winston. That's right, Winston. He's asked me to do a paid review. And let's jump straight in and do this. So um, I got to tell you guys, these paid reviews, they keep me full time on YouTube. Believe you me, I can't survive on Google ads or super chats. Guys, I stream live streams twice a day on my other channel, the Archie Luxury live stream channel. I'm streaming morning and night. Okay, morning and night. Go and check it out. Archie Luxury live stream. I'll put a link in one of the corners there. And don't forget, paid reviews help me survive on YouTube. They do. They help me survive. Without the support, it becomes very difficult to survive. Now, guys, let's have a look here. We've got an interesting review. This is for Winston. He goes, hi, Archie. Long time fan. <clears throat> Thank you, Winston. A uh, longtime fan of the channel. When my, when my son was born, we watched videos together when he would wake up crying at night. Good boy. Good guy. I will always have fond memories of trying not to laugh at your videos while soothing him back to sleep. Hey, what a great dad. And uh, I got to tell you, that's uh, what a great story there. Uh, my first watch is the Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon. A man. How could you not love a man on the moon? How could you not love this watch? I mean, hey, that's a that's a great that's a great watch, isn't it? Hey, Man on the Moon. Let's have a sticky beak here. Let's have a look at what he has here. Because we like to just getting these files on my computer. The good thing is I really do enjoy doing these reviews with a look at the the collection. Um, it, it it makes it so much better if I've got some photos. I can see what his collection is like. So let's bring it up on the screen so you viewers can see exactly what we're talking about man on the moon it's a great watch here we go here's a photo of his collection i like this i like the one photo we'll look at this here wow one two three four five five pieces look at this okay um let's have a look here put this on here okay so he's got the the man on the moon First watch is the Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon with Sapphire Crystal, open case back with the micro adjustment bracelet, which I purchased to mark my son's first birthday. I love everything about this watch, from the dial to the bracelet to the manual wind movement. It's the ritual, man. I, I couldn't agree more with you. It's a beautiful watch. Amiga Speedmaster, it's quintessential watch. Whis, whis, watch enthusiast watch, isn't it? My second watch is a blue Rolex Datejust 41 with fluted bezel on a Dubilee, Dubilee, Dubilee bracelet. Man, that's that's not bad, is it? A Jubilee, Jubilee bracelet. Hey, how could you go? You can't go wrong with that there. Whoops, wrong one. Wrong way we're going. Da 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 da. There we go. The Jubilee. Look at that. How could you not love this watch here? Blue dial. Phew, I think that's, you know, I tell you what. Quintessential day just 41 mil. Uh, blue blue dial. Hey, man, you got to go with the blue. Um, fluted with Jubilee. Yes, yes, yes. Blue, it's beautiful. Uh, I bought this watch impulsively on the gray market after a frustrating ad oh, the ad sucks fuck the ad's fuck the ad's and managed to pay close to yeah i have a love-hate relationship with this watch 
It's my most comfortable watch by far, and there are some angles in which it looks just perfect. However, at time, I think the dial looks too large and has too much blank space. Ah, it's Rolex. Rolex got it right. Overall, I think it's a fantastic watch and versatile watch, but I plan to replace it with a Sky Dweller or 40 mil day date in the future. No, keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Add a Sky Dweller, yes, but I wouldn't replace it. No. I would keep it. That's a beautiful date. Just is a, you know, that just says you, it's like, it's like you turn up, you're an accountant, you turn up in a five series or a E-class Mercedes. It's just professional. It's professional, man. It's a fucking, don't sell it. Don't sell it. Don't, it'd be a mistake to sell it. Don't sell it. I would keep it. If you have to sell the watch to buy the next one, you haven't got enough money. Okay. Don't, don't do that. This is a watch you keep for life. Lock it in. That's it. The collectible market's over, man. You're going to get slaughtered on secondary prices. Fuck that. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Believe you me, the watch market's changed. It's no longer we can cash in, cash out. Cash, it's, that's over. Keep this beautiful piece. That's my advice to you. My third watch is the Amiga Aquaterra World Timer. Now, I love these watches. Bang per buck. I mean, it's no fucking paddock. We, we know that, okay? Okay, we know it's no fucking paddock. However. However, 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 but fuckers, but fuckers, but fuckers, um, bang per buck of this in a sports case is just amazing. I bought this watch to celebrate a promotion at work. After owning the Speedy and the Datejust, I realized that I have a strong preference for interesting dials. And this watch truly scratches that itch. On most days, this is my favorite watch. Okay, this look. It's no fucking paddock world time, but it's a great Omega. It's discreet. It's under the radar. It's not a show offy watch, not a hype watch. Great bang per buck. So, um, nice watch. No, I, I, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. Number four. We've got number four, our fourth watch here. He's got a, the fourth watch is a Rolex Sea Dweller 43. To, which competes with the Aquaterra is my favorite watch. Hey, you can't go wrong with a Sea Dweller 43. Fuck, that's beautiful. <laughs> that is just <coughs> 43 mil red writing dial, sapphire, ceramic bezel. Fucking, this is perfection. Believe you me, that is a fucking, don't ever sell that watch. Um... I purchased this watch from the AD to mark the birth of my second son. Good, good, good. Compared to the Submariner, I love the small details on this watch, such as the red lettering on the dial. I have chunky wrists, but don't mind the greater size. Yes. These are fucking classics. Iconic. I think the deep sea is a bit too big, but this is perfection. I fucking love this watch. I really do love this watch. My fifth watch is the Rolex Submariner 124060. That's the no date. No date. No date sub. You can see it at the end here. You can see it at the end. Can we get another photo of it? There it is at the end there. Um, no date. Um, I actually purchased this watch on the gray market before the SD43, but got the call from the AD for the Sea Dweller just a few weeks later. I realized that this watch is much more popular than this. Who gives a fuck what is popular or not? <clears throat> but I greatly prefer the latter and have decided to part ways with the sub. You'll be glad to hear that it isn't going far. I am gifting it to my father, who I hope will enjoy it for many years before passing it onto my wow fuck 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 he's giving it away to his dad jesus christ that's um that's an expensive gift um fool i don't know if i would do that shit that's i i quite like look does he oh my god I plan to keep my collection around three to five pieces as I already struggle to give these watches enough time on my wrist. In a decade's time, I hope to own a Lange 1815 chronograph, my absolute grail, a root beer GMT and a day data or sky dweller in addition 
to the sea dweller. There you have it, Arch. Thank you for the years of entertainment. My sincere condolences also for the loss of your son. You were lucky to have each other in this life. All best wishes, Winston. Oh, look, what do I think? Hey, man, you are a fucking very, very kind young man to give your father the no date sub. That is a fucking expensive gift. You know what I would do? Let me just tweak it a little bit there. Okay, so, so what I would do is I tell you, Winston, I wouldn't be selling the date just. Just keep the blue dial date just. It's fucking gorgeous. I would keep the speedy, the Aquaterra uh, world timer. I would, you know, that's not huge money. I would keep it as well. The sea dweller, I would keep. The no date sub, fuck! You've, if you've already, okay, you want to give it to your dad? Look, that's that's your that's your decision there. Uh, you know what I would fill the slot with? I'd get an Explorer 2. Explorer 2, that's what I'd put in there. Under the radar, beautiful piece. No qualms whatsoever. That's what I would sneak into the box. Um, or maybe, maybe a um, a GMT, but they're a bit hypey. And I, I seem to think with your collection, you're not a hype. And I hate hype collect. You know, hype. I love. Look, I love. I love all watches. I love the hype models, but I don't like what the hype. The dickheads who who collect them. I, I I'm anti hype collector. You know what I'm saying? Personally, Lange 1815 Chronograph, that's a fucking gorgeous watch. Um, Expensive as fuck, but that's the only problem. It's expensive. I would probably, you know what I would do? Nothing against the 1815. That, that watch is amazing. You don't want to buy it new. Don't buy that shit new. You got to buy that pre-owned. I'd probably just go for a standard, like a, a good bang per buck Lange, like a Lange 1 on the secondary market because it's going to be half the price and it's still a Lange and it's got all the kudos and I dare say it's even more sexy than a 1815. I'm just, just keep spitting, spitting, uh, spitballing. Um, it's good to have goals and dreams. A root beer GMT. Yes, that's a great watch to have, but I think I'd get an Explorer and then I'd add, I'd add a root beer later down the track. A sky dweller. Um, I don't, I think a sky dweller would be nice, but I wouldn't be getting rid of the date just the date just is so it's a beautiful man. You've got such a beautiful collection. You don't need to add anything. Um, I must say very kind to give. What did you get the wife? What does Mrs. Winston wear? Uh, if you're going to be given the, the sub to your dad, and I hope he's given you some financial kicks over the years, but, um, what is Mrs. Winston? Have you got something for her? I hope you've got an oyster perpetual for her or something. Or is, I don't know. I just don't, doesn't mention much. Maybe she's not into intimacy or something. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes these women can be a bit nasty, but um, I hope you buy something. It means the wife nice. Is she cool or is she nasty? I don't know. I, don't, I just don't get the vibe. I don't get the vibe, but what a fucking, Man, I actually like this collection. I fucking love it. You've got two Amiga. Okay, so you're going to give this the, the no-date sub to your dad. That's good. It'll help you with his inheritance too. You've got a C dweller <clears throat> and you've got a date just. You've got a Speedy and you've got an Aquaterra. I just added an Explorer 2 to the fucking thing. Add an Explorer 2. If you wanted to do it on the cheap, you could add a uh, Tudor black bay pro you know that that that's the like like the vintage explorer too that's what I, maybe that's that's another great option there tudor has some but i wouldn't Tudor. you got to buy second hand it's fallen like a tank it's fallen like sinking like a ship sinking it's sinking so um yeah beautiful collection just beautiful nice pieces fucking beautiful watches um I love the Sea Dweller. To be honest with you, I really love the fucking Sea Dweller. I love them. I think you've got a beautiful collection, Winston. Fucking nice collection. <clears throat> well done. Well, 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 well done. That's all I can say. <coughs> it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful, man. 
absolutely beautiful. So I just want to say congratulations. Congratulations. Beautiful collection. Uh, and we will see you in the next one. Guys, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Don't forget, paid reviews. Keep me full-time on YouTube. I need some more paid reviews desperately. And guys, don't forget, check out my live stream channel, Archie Luxury Live Stream, and I will see you in the next one. And don't forget, guys, if you are in the market to sell a watch or buy a watch, who do I recommend in America? There's only one place I'd go. David SW. Hi, guys. It's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America... If you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride, go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW.